Greetings and welcome to all of you. I'm Dr. Don Jolly. This is the Jolly Hyperbarics of the Hyperbaric Institute. We invite you for a quick tour of our facility. Welcome to our patient waiting lobby. I'd like to point out some things to you. First of all, one of my favorite things is a picture of this horse. This horse was dying of necrotizing fasciitis, which we know is the flesh-eating bacteria. And it was slated to be put down and they gave it hyperbaric oxygen therapy and it completely recovered, completely recovered. Hi, I'm Dr. Donald Jolly of the Jolly Hyperbaric Unit at the Hyperbaric Institute. I have been uh, doing hyperbaric therapy for about 35 years. I've had the incredible good fortune of being mentored for decades by some of the world's best hyperbaric oxygen physicians in the entire world. I've worked in London, in Aberdeen, Scotland, in Italy, uh, even in India with Mother Teresa uh, many, many years ago. And I am totally dedicated to hyperbaric oxygen therapy and the magnificent results that it can reap for the human body. Okay, my name is Damien Mena. About 10 years ago, I broke my neck. I'm Rachel, and this is Charlotte. Charlotte was diagnosed with autism. My name is Mary Lou Rowe, and I had an intestinal illness that no doctor could possibly diagnose. I probably consulted at least 20 doctors. I do hope that you enjoy this incredibly interesting tour of our small but mighty clinic, which we will now take you through the hyperbaric room. First, however, you see all these certificates. All they are is pieces of paper that say I've done certain things and hopefully those certain things have made me what I am today, increased my level of knowledge and given me a capability of learning even more. When I first met Dr. Jolly, uh, my condition was in a state where I couldn't even reach out and shake his hand. So I knew very little about hyperbaric oxygen or what it did. We had a family friend that kind of introduced us and um, suggested that it might be beneficial to uh, at least pursue it. Before hyperbarics, Charlotte had very limited speech. She was kind of clumsy and behind. She wasn't as affectionate with me. She would get about a cold twice a month. Pretty immune compromised, I would have to say. Including the London School of Tropical Medicine, um, doctors in New York, doctors from the State Department, and no one really had the solution to my problem. Basically, I hardly could eat anything, and the only thing that gave me relief from feeling very ill, almost with like flu-like symptoms, was uh, vinegar. And then I heard about Dr. Jolly. Welcome to the hyperbaric treatment room. As you can see, we have a portrait of Mother Teresa in back of me. I had the privilege of working with her in the late 70s and early 80s. It was an incredible experience, one that changed my life dramatically. We are surrounded by hyperbaric chambers, as you can see. The one that is closest to me that I happen to be touching at the moment is a sit-down chamber. It's the only sit-down chamber we have. We use this to treat children in and adults who prefer to sit down. You sit down in it and you get your treatment. You can watch a video as you can with all of our chambers. The chambers in back of me and to the side of me are lie down chambers. You'll notice that they're totally transparent, which is very good and it's also uh, uh, very comforting for the individual. And these chambers, I want to tell you something, are magic. The help that Hyperbarics has added to my recovering body. Um, it's enabled me to do things that most people in my position are completely unable to do. You run into small issues like, uh, let's just say a pressure short, let's just say uh, a bladder infection. These are two things that are very common when it comes to people that have you know, a quadriplegic diagnosis. And I, and just recently, okay, so two weeks ago, I was on a exercise bike and I rubbed a pretty decent sized pressure sore onto my leg. And with me sitting all the time, it's not like I can get off my butt. Um, I did three hyperbaric sessions in a matter of two weeks and I went from having open bleeding wounds to it being healed to the point where you can't even tell where it was scratched. So it's kind of opened up in the last several months that she's been here, really awakened and 
kind of flourished and it's kind of just added the color to our life. Um, I don't know, she's just been a little miracle. Her, her language has just improved dramatically, just the amount and spontaneity in it. And now she sings, she's never sung before and she's turning four. So she sings the songs on the radio and for bed. She's just this little singing angel now, which is amazing. I've never looked back. Everything is fine. I can eat normally and I don't have any flu-like symptoms and um, you know it really was a great relief to me because I thought I would never find a solution having even gone abroad to try to find out exactly what I had ingested in that well water. I don't know how many of you realize that oxygen is a drug. It is a drug. It needs a prescription from a physician why would oxygen be a drug? Why would it even qualify to be a drug? Because it can be dosed and will do different things at different doses. Just like if you have an infection, they might give you 250 milligrams of Cipro if you weigh 100 pounds and you have a certain infection, maybe you take it once a day, twice a day. Well, we treat the same way. Certain levels of oxygen with levels of pressure for certain times that's how oxygen is dosable and it is now a prescription but I what I find very fascinating about it is that it is God's drug immediate creation of our Creator approved now by the FDA so isn't that kind of exciting I think so I would definitely recommend Jolly Hyperbarics to anyone and I have recommended Jolly Hyperbarics Actually, I've recommended it to people who have had surgery. Uh, I've recommended it to people who have been able to resolve an illness. I've recommended it to people who just have not a general sense of well-being. I mean, I would recommend it for almost any issue. I found that not only did it resolve my intestinal issue, but it generally made me feel better in all aspects. You know, your, your whole survival, your whole story, your whole future is now changed. So when you meet somebody uh, like Dr. Jolly, it's, it, he's more than just a hyperbarics technician or a pioneer. He, he's a, a supportive force that, that really gave me clarity in terms of what I truly wanted. So as much as I wanted my body to heal, um, he also helped bridge the gap of me being able to understand wellness on a continuum, meaning that it's more than just you know, healing your physical body. It's also about the things you put in your body and the, the thoughts that you have and the emotions that you feel along with them. So he's done more than just put me in a chamber. He's actually given me hope, which I think is probably one of the bigger um, driving forces that kept me to want to continue to push beyond what people told me I couldn't do. And I want you all to remember that oxygen is the most important element that our body uses. It is not only what sustains our life, it is the only thing that we need in our body to replenish on a regular basis of a few seconds. The other thing oxygen does besides sustain life is it promotes healing abundantly. We can increase healing levels so much that in most cases we can heal things with hyperbaric oxygen therapy in half the time. Whether it be cosmetic surgery, whether it be wounds, any kind of athletic injury. So oxygen therapy is an incredible adjunctive therapy to almost any medical treatment and a standalone therapy to many, many problems. So I hope that if you have any questions, you will be able to get them answered either on our internet program or by calling me directly at the clinic and the number will appear uh, on the uh, bottom of this uh, screen as you can see. So we welcome you to do that and I thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to share with you. I would say run, don't walk to hyperbaric. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 you don't just like that. See, that's the downside for being affectionate. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to pause now. Oh. Can you say it to me, Charlotte? Can you say it to me? I love that to die. <laughs>